YouTube, it's your boy 41 Pop. Be back with another video. Disrespect, disrespectful IRL stream arrested in Korea. Ayo, we here for the news and the tea and the drama. Ayo, if you like news, tea, and drama, make sure you spam and like. You know what I'm saying? We do a lot of gameplay, you know what I'm saying? Spam and like. We got another Atazi reaction. You know, he dropped the dimes and we here for it. Ayo, it's your boy 41 Pop. Let's get into it. This is by far the worst style of social media creator. One would think, after getting arrested in Japan for making your content, then spending three months in jail over there, only to be released, immediately go to the opposite side of the world, Israel, continue the same style of content, and instantly get arrested over there? Maybe, just maybe, this style of content is the problem. And if we need any further confirmation, the guy we're talking about today was just arrested in Korea for doing the exact same style of content. This is crazy, y'all. So a couple weeks back, he announced that he was going to continue his antics in Korea. And if you don't remember, his streams consist of him downing entire bottles of liquor while running around harassing citizens and embarrassing himself in whatever country he's currently in. Like here, he's obviously extremely intoxicated and he chases this poor woman back into a store as she clearly doesn't want to be anywhere near him or his camera. Yo, what's up? Hello. What are you scared for? Relax. Yo, why are you with the phone up like this? Why are you scared like this? Whoa! Why are you, she ran back in the store? Bro. Well, why am I about to crash out? Well, why am I about to crash out? I'm about to crash out. This is your friend right here? What's she, <laughs> why are you scared of me? Because you are an intoxicated stranger following a random woman into a store with what a, a live streaming camera rig, trying to shove it she into don't her even face know that. She just, just for your own camera. content. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Then someone else sees this and wants him to stop harassing her. So then he goes into this, don't touch me, don't touch me, I didn't do anything act. Yeah, you better, don't touch me, don't touch me. What is this? What? What are you doing? Why are you shaking like that? What? 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 Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. Don't touch me. Are you okay? You Korean? Yeah. Then why are you doing this? What's this shit about? I come to buy some makeup. Relax. I want to be white. Yeah. He's just mm. desperate for someone to do something so he could get content. But since the guy essentially told him to just stop without making a big deal out of anything, he immediately continues where he left off and just goes straight back out to harassing people. And this is the exact same clip. This is all happening within one minute. I'm not cutting here. He just goes immediately back to doing this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ajuma, ah! 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 relax. Ajuma, relax. At least she was a good sport about it. But what is going on? How is this behavior acceptable? And what's surprising is he happily clips this behavior and puts he, it up on his own YouTube streamer. channel, titling the video, picture. Picking Up Girls in Seoul. Filming myself harass women in Seoul would be a way better title because that's exactly what he's doing. Talk to them. Yeah. Oh, listen. <laughs> Yo. Uh, hi, what's your name? <laughs> what's up? You don't speak English? When you, approach, when you approach girls in Korean, what do I say? Just say, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah, but they don't speak English. They're not even worth what we're talking to. Approach them. Yo, what's up? Oh, you that's guys? crazy. I don't think he know he. <laughs> what the? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey girls. Yo. My friend's streaming. You wanna be on it? What's up, you guys? Uh, no, okay, okay, okay. They're, they're polite. <laughs> All right. What you gonna do about it, ho? What you gonna do? A what? Uh, if I don't do it, what you gonna do? Exactly. Shut the f up. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> they were. They were. They were actually nice. This is the news. The and while hell? it's just embarrassing to watch, his real moneymaker is being in public transportation, as his business model is basically based on him being an entity for random people to use to harass strangers. Because as we saw in the previous clips, since he does it, he essentially just gives the green light 
for other people to harass people through him, which is why he makes so much more money when he's on public transportations inside of restaurants being confronted and interacting with the police because people donate to him to be able to play whatever message or song they want to via his Bluetooth speaker. And they're just actively rooting for his downfall. So they will happily send the worst possible message and music to either harass the people he's around, incite violence against him, or to get him arrested. Little intro for you. Everyone on the internet is rooting for your downfall. And you know that. Because he's just a clown for them. He's a clown show. That's all that's going on here. This is a live circus. Be and you can donate to make the situation infinitely worse for him. And then I guess just see where the circus goes from there. And I mean, there is days worth of content of him just acting out in the worst way possible, but I don't want this to be a multi-hour video. So I'll concise it down to some of the interesting clips I saw. But as you know, he's hated in Japan for good reasons. So he decides then to be as offensive as possible to both Japan and Korea. So he did this. So I got a plan for today. I want to go to uh, the Japanese embassy because I saw that the Koreans were getting mad about that comfort woman statue shit. So I'm like, if I'm leaving soon, we might as well make these. Thank you for subscribing. We might as well make these matter. So they got to I think the main comfort woman statue is in front of the Japanese embassy. So that is where I'm going right now. And I want to go into the Japanese embassy and I want to see if those know who the fuck I am. And I want to ask these if they're going to let me come back. You know, like I got a new passport. I got a new look. Maybe the Japanese might let me go back. Right. Great goal to have in life. But first, he had to interrupt a publicly broadcasted concert. Oh, shit, I got on TV. I might have been on TV. Oh, shit. <laughs> I might have been on TV. I might have been on TV. <laughs> I got all of my bitches oh, from you, dog. I got, I really they got it. They stopped the music. They stopped the music. Every time... I start going through this guy's stuff, I realize how dystopian IRL streaming can really get, as it just demonstrates the worst case of me. He's an asshole, that's all. He's just an asshole. He's going, hey, you fuck around, you find out. Syndrome that either. He's, he found out a couple of times, but it probably wasn't good enough. He won't find out, though. Receipt. Clearly, for him, nothing and nobody matters, as long as he can have the chance to get some sort of funny clip for his stream. And he's doing all this while publicly day drinking. It's just overall fascinating that someone would humiliate themselves like this over and over again while being a burden to society, all for some sweet internet attention. It's depressing, but as we know, he's still on a mission, so he gets the statue and does this. Japan hates this thing. Tell so him why, tell him why. Let me sit down with it, put it, hold it. Japan hates, let me sit down with it. I don't know if it's respect to sit here. I stand with the Korean people. Bring it closer to you. Bring it come closer. I stand with the Korean people. I love Korea. And everything that I did in Japan was for the Korean and the Chinese people. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so if you don't know what statue he disrespected, here's the context. And for him to do this to that kind of statue, it's despicable. There, there's really no words to describe it. It's just straight up pathetic. And he's really just testing his limits. He wants to see how much can he get away with. And he does this over and over again. And on top of that, he chooses the most tolerant countries to act like this in. Because obviously, he doesn't want to get consequences. But he still wants the clout and attention for testing the boundaries. But unfortunately for him, it seems like he's starting to find the limits here in Korea. Because just a few days ago, he decided to do this on the Metro in Seoul. We're going to jail today. Ring, ring, banana. We're going to jail, bro. We're going to jail. Sorry. Ah, come on, dude. It's depressing to watch, but what actually makes this funny to me is how little money he's actually doing this for. Like, imagine someone is willingly putting themselves in a situation where they can be arrested for someone simply paying them five dollars for a text-to-speech donation or song. He's so pathetic. But a couple days later, he continues these antics at a 7-Eleven. Yeah, you like a Jack Frost with a zesty anchor. Get your ass out of here like Victor from Despicable Me to me upside down. What are you talking about? Bro? You got a yelling 
This guy will literally look to anything as an excuse to deflect for his own actions. And also, he will just happily lie to people's faces and live stream himself doing it. Like, what kind of sociopath do you have to be to do any of his content? It, it's insane. It's baffling to watch. And immediately after this woman leaves, he just continues to make a scene. Because this is how he is, apparently. He's right to say you should never have kids. Your father was right your father was right. <laughs> it's wild to me that he didn't learn his lesson in Japan. For every day he streams like this, consequences will inevitably be worse for him. It's sad he happily treats elders like this to seem like some puff guy for his content. Like, especially when a couple days later, he was upset and confused as why he was handcuffed in the back of a cop car. Gee, who would know? But that clip that we just saw somehow gets worse before he runs off before the police shows up. Call the police, stupid ass bitch. Stupid ass, I didn't even drink here. Are you dumb? Why are you talking to me, stupid ass, bald ass bitch? Dude. What he doesn't realize also is it's illegal to record people in Korea without their consent. Normally, rules like this aren't enforced on, which is why over 99% of the time, people get away with stuff like this. But his issue is he's demonstrating the behavior you want to make an example out of and penalize. And you can actually get up to 10 years in prison in extreme cases for this behavior in Korea. So a couple days later, he repeated this on a bus and actually got the police called on him. Huawei, Chinese virus. China. I got a police. One, one, two, one, one, two. I got a police. Back up. What you don't touch my phone? Anonymous sent ten dollars. Don't touch me. I got police. One, one, two. And the guy confronting him gets off the bus and says he's calling the police on him. So. He runs off. He goes to hide in this restaurant, but since he's streaming, the police were able to find him pretty quickly. And here he just really goes on to show the world how unintelligent he is with this interaction with the police. <laughs> oh, police. Hi, how are you? Off, 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 please. Off, please. Okay, I'll take off. Hello? One minute. Somebody, somebody, somebody called us. Sometimes, sometimes. Thanks for IG follow, bro, from famous. Taiwanese guy. So people make fake call. You know? No, they, they, they called us and they just, you make some. I love how he told them he turned it off, but he's also like turning the camera towards them. Sometimes you see this, this one, you know, donation? People can send a music. I don't control. So they said it's too loud. No, no, no. I'm very calm. You bully people. Something like Never bully. Can you speak to? I don't know what this is. Can you just write it out? My YouTube name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to talk, just be careful. Somebody call us. Okay. But people try to waste your time. They try to make fake call. I never touch anybody. Yo, shut up. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Have a good lunch. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just want thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even though, yeah, I'll see how I win that easy. <laughs> easy, well, I easy, easy, easy. That would be easy. Just said, enjoy your lunch, keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna pay her some good money. She just saved my ass. I'm gonna give her a tip. He's live streaming. It's not like the police don't have access to this footage. Yeah. 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 Just call him. Stop calling the Ajuma. Yeah, we got creepy callers now. Someone just called the rest. Of the judge is just gonna love all these clips. I didn't do anything wrong. Watch, they call him again. Ajuma, can I have a table takeaway? 
Uh, He's clearly very paranoid as well. Uh, to go, to go. Because he's automatically assuming they're calling. They've already found the restaurant. And they're calling the restaurant to report him when it's most likely just normal takeout orders. And then after that, he didn't even get that far until he was confronted by the police again. Because I'm assuming they saw the stream. What is the problem? Please come over. Oh. Sir. 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 What I do? What's the problem? Because this interaction was only 45 minutes after the previous one. I think taxi, taxi. Boss, you? No bus. I know it. You, 271 bus. No, 273. 272. Anyway. So don't allow. Okay, quiet. I didn't want to. Oh, okay, I want to. Yeah, so he's just lying to them. Nah, I wasn't on the bus. I took a taxi. Yeah, right, dude. I'm very close. Quiet. Okay. Yes. So here he's carrying this fish that becomes important later on. What's evidence? Just one chance, okay? Oh, uh, of love. course. I mean no talk. Come down, please. Okay. Be louder. Be louder. Because the police are giving him one more chance. Me no loud. Please be. Somebody report you. You know, somebody, okay. somebody call, fake call. Right, dude. Bro, stop no. saying that, bro. One chance. Bro, turn okay, okay. that shit off and leave I promise, I before your ass go to jail. Okay, so only 20 minutes later, he was stopped by the police again. <laughs> to get away from us, I There's this bag of fish. What I do? <laughs> off. Off. The same police. What I do? I'm off. It's off. They're watching no, your shit, bro. Off. Are you dumb? What I do? I'm waiting for taxi. You're going to jail. Please. You're watching. What I do? Please your YouTube I know you're watching, but what I do? Oh. Watching your YouTube channel. But what I do? I'm waiting for taxi. Please. He, please, he, off. Mm. What did I do? Turn off, please. English, please. I don't speak English. Why are you harassing me? What I do? I'm doing grocery. I go home. I'm please, waiting taxi. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. You're waiting taxi. <laughs> How long have you been waiting? Okay, so it's the same duo that stopped him earlier. You can hold. I don't do nothing. Of course, this is exactly what they're donating as he's getting arrested. I don't know. They try to get his ass back. I understand you, police. I'm cooperating. Okay, look. You tell me go taxi. I'm waiting. This is such a fascinating social experiment. Bro, what is going on, chat? I tell you all. Wait, taxi. Point that way. I don't care. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You tell me you see him in the mirror to the right. Oh, Watch. I don't throw nothing. This, this is evidence. 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 Who is this guy? This one. Oh, be quiet. I show you something. Song Mason. I want to be alone. My face. My face. Old white guy. What, what I do? You f***ing white, f***ing white savior? Get your ass over here. You read a Twitter user? I'm relaxed. Relax. He's going to jail. Some Redditor came. Some Redditor came. Some Reddit Twitter user. Hang Sabida. Hang Sabida. Hang Sabida. But unfortunately for him, this doesn't go his way. Hang Sabida, police. Because he thinks he gets this taxi here. And now I'm going off of information by Cancel Johnny's here on Twitter. They told me that apparently he got into this taxi. The stream cuts out because here we see they don't let the taxi driver drive. And then the stream ends up cutting a little bit later. But when his live stream came back on, he was in the back of a police car, handcuffed, complaining about being arrested. You got me cuffed off. Wow, bro, this is fucking this is fucking crazy, dog. Oh, this let me out this bitch now, bro. I'm about to crash out with time and a bunch of shit. I'm about to crash out. Do you still think this is a joke? So we're still waiting for more information about exactly hey, why or how. He's just crazy, bro. Some people, we forgetting that people are, they need meds. 
and he needs some meds. Oh, he was arrested? But Johnny has since been released, and he had this to say about being arrested. Johnny Somali is free. The police let him go because they were not well informed. The police does not know about him drinking alcohol on the bus and vandalizing the 7-Eleven. People must notify the police of all the illegal activities Johnny has done while he's in Korea. Hank translated everything in the police station. The police were like, bro, they were like, this is the dumbest ever. We have to do the paperwork. It's Get nothing. Some here. guy's claiming, allegedly, you got fist juice on him. There's no proof. There's no evidence. There's no nothing. So just go. And honestly, you know, the police, the detective just called me right now. He said, bro, I see you're on the news about kissing the statue. If any reporter... So it cut out there, but he hasn't gone live since his arrest as of recording this video. So if it's really not a big deal, that doesn't really make sense. I think it would be smart of him to leave the country right now, but we've been covering this guy for over a year now and he's never done anything smart. So there will likely be more to come from the saga. So feel free to subscribe or you might not see me again. And also if you want another way to support the channel, we're currently doing a limited hey, run of the Halloween collection. We keeping up with it too, yo, yo. Like and subscribe. It's your boy 41 Pop and we out. Peace.